So hello, Jeff. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Fine. Thank you. I'm here with Jeff Scott Brown. He has just given two workshops in a in a row, in total uh, four hours, right? Of six hours. Six hours talking about Grails three. So I guess you have a lot of a lot to things a lot of things to say about this Grails three. First of all, what's new? What's new? Uh, a lot is new in, in Grails 3. Grails 3 is a substantial rewrite of the framework. Uh, one of the, the core pieces that's, uh, that's exciting and new in Grails 3 is, is we've rewritten the framework on top of Spring Boot, which is a really powerful, really flexible uh, framework for building web applications. So uh, what that means to Grails developers is when you're building a Grails 3 application, you can take advantage of everything that Grails, uh, I'm sorry, you can take advantage of everything that Spring Boot has to offer, plus everything that Grails adds on top of that. And that's an important point that a lot of folks don't realize is that every Grails 3 application is a Spring Boot application. So anything you can do with Boot, you can do with Grails, and then we add a whole bunch of really cool and powerful stuff on top of that. Which are the most attractive features this Grails 3 brings? The most attractive features of Grails 3, there's, there's so much uh, new stuff in Grails 3, it's hard to pick, uh, uh, make a short list, but one important thing is Grails 3 includes uh, the application, uh, notion of application profiles. So a profile is like a, a type of application. So by default, when you create a Grails 3 app, uh, we use the web profile which includes all the stuff that Grails developers are used to. You've got controllers and services and domain classes and GSPs. But we provide a number of uh, other profiles, like there is a, a profile called the REST API profile. And that's specifically designed for building REST APIs. So uh, that includes um, the uh, JSON views support, which is a really powerful, really flexible way to describe JSON responses. Um, and as important as the stuff that it includes is uh, some stuff that it doesn't include. So, for example, when you create an application with the REST API profile, uh, GSP support is not there because it doesn't make sense in that kind of application. Um, so that's a capability that didn't really exist in Grails 2, where, where you couldn't build different kinds of Grails applications um, very easily. Application profiles enable that. So the REST API profile is a common one that a lot of folks are using. Another that we've recently introduced is an Angular profile for folks who want to build Grails 3 applications with a, an Angular front end. So I think application profiles are, are one of the uh, cool, uh, exciting new features offered by Grails 3. Okay, thank you, Jeff, and enjoy the conference. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you.